Dear students, once again welcome to the world of chemistry. We already studied the first colligative property related to lowering of vapor pressure. In this section, we are going to study about the second colligative property that is elevation of boiling point. So first we will study what is boiling point. I hope all of you know what is the definition of a boiling point. It is the temperature at which the vapor pressure equals to the atmospheric pressure. As you studied, the vapor pressure of the solution is lower than that of a pure solvent. Consequently, the presence of a non-volatile solute in a solution increases the boiling point as compared to the pure solvent. For example, let us consider the boiling point of a water that is 100 degree Celsius. It's a very familiar phenomenon and which is equal to 373.15 Kelvin. At this temperature, the vapor pressure of the water is equal to, vapor pressure of H2O is equal to 1.013 bar, which is equal to one atmospheric pressure. While we are adding a non-volatile solute, say glucose, the vapor pressure lowers which means become less than 1.013 bar in order to increase the vapor pressure it has to be heated to a greater extent so while we are heating more consequently the boiling point of the solution increases compared to the pure solvent if the amount of solute increases higher will be the boiling point because the colligative property is depends on only the number of solute particles and independent of nature of the solute. The elevation in boiling point which is represented using the letter delta Tb which can be calculated as it is the boiling point, it is the temperature difference between the boiling point of the solution and that of the pure solvent. So boiling point of the solution is represented as Tb and boiling point of the pure solvent is represented as T0b. So you can define the elevation in boiling point as it is the temperature difference between boiling point of a solution and boiling point of the pure solvent. Many studies are proved that the boiling elevation in boiling point is directly proportional to molality and we know what is molality right molality is nothing but it is the number of moles of solute present per kilogram of solvent and what is the equation of molality m is equal to number of moles of solute divided by solvent in kilogram okay let us rearrange the equation in order to avoid the proportionality let us take a constant delta tb is equal to kb into m kb is a constant it is called molar elevation constant or ebullioscopic constant okay now you just imagine if the molality is equal to unity which means if the molality is 1 then kb is equal to delta tb so the ebullioscopic constant or molar elevation constant is defined as it is the elevation of boiling point when the concentration of the solution is unity. Okay, now again we can expand this equation as delta Tb is equal to Kb into molality. Molality is number of moles of solute dissolved in uh, solvent in kilogram. So it can be number of moles of solute is Wb divided by Mp and again divided by solvent in kilogram that can be written as 1000 divided by Wa. 
So this equation also can be used to calculate the molar mass of the unknown solute present in the solution. Let us solve a numerical from the elevation of boiling point. In some of the uh, reference material you can see the word elevation in boiling point also. So the, let us read the question. When 1.5 gram of a non-volatile solute was dissolved in 90 gram of benzene. The boiling point of benzene raised from 353.23 Kelvin to 353.93 Kelvin. Calculate the molar mass of the solute. And also given Kb for benzene. Kb is molar elevation constant or ebullioscopic constant. It is given 2.52 and the unit is very important that is Kelvin kilogram mole in inverse. And as I said, first we have to write what are the data given. Weight of the solute WB is given as 1.5. And weight of the solvent is given in the question 90 gram. MB, molar mass of the solute we have to calculate. And KB is already given in the question. And the elevation of boiling point. So it is a temperature raised from 353.23 to 353.93. So while we are subtracting the values, you will get 0 0.70 Kelvin. That is delta Tb elevation in boiling point. Now we have to write the equation. Delta Tb is equal to Kb into Wb divided by Mp into 1000 divided by Wa. I hope all the terminologies are well known. Delta Tb elevation of boiling point. Kb is the ebullioscopic constant. Wb is the weight of the solute. Mb is the molar mass of the solute. 1000 is a constant value. And Wa is the weight of the solvent. And we are going to calculate molar mass of the solute. So the equation is rearranged into Mb is equal to Kb into Wb into 1000 divided by delta Tb into Wa. Now we just want to substitute the values on the equation. So Mb is equal to Kb is given 2.52. Wb is given 1.5 into 1000 divided by delta Tb is 0 0.70 into Wa is given is 90 gram. And we just want to solve the numerical. The numerical you can solve in your own way and finally you will reach the answer 60 grams per mole. So while we are answering a numerical we have to think we should write the unit of the final answer and from this numerical you also want to point out that what is the unit of a ebullioscopic constant it is kelvin kilogram mole inverse i hope the concept boiling uh, point elevation or elevation in boiling point and also the numerical how to calculate the molar mass of the solute using the elevation of boiling point is clear to you. Thank you. Habitat Schools. Learn something from everything.